goes my heart beating Cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep Please come back now And there goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I broke Oh, cause I need you to They're coming up the, right now. Oh, oh, so we're almost ready to roll. We're almost ready to roll. I got a different spot. I don't know which one you wanted. They were going to give you a pink one at first. I was like, oh, he's a blue. He definitely gets the white one. Oh, we're good. Where's Garrett and Jaden? Uh, Garrett is going to walk in Grandma, and then Jaden's walking in. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes. And then, oh, okay, and then Adam's walking in Pam. Okay. <laughs> it didn't hit me on the head, okay, though. That was on your dad's side. If it's on this side, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a public service announcement, okay? No throwing of apples until after the service, because I don't want to see myself on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> oh, come on. And, 
and I'm glad it wasn't a walnut tree because that could hurt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the little one right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, there were big ones up top. Oh, here we go. Uh, there's a foot in the mouth. Yeah. I'm good. Oh, okay. Excellent. Are, yeah.
everybody stand, please? Let us pray. Second, okay. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day and this beautiful weather in this venue. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together to celebrate and witness the marriage between Jordan and Sabrina. Please, Lord, add your blessing to Sabrina and Jordan as they enter into a new chapter of their lives as husband and wife. Lord, please look over and provide safe travel for everyone after we leave the reception. In your precious name we pray, amen. You may be seated. So. I'd like to start, I'd like to welcome, you know, everyone and thank you and each and every one of you for being here on this important day. It's no accident that each of you are here today and each of you were invited to be here because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Jordan and Sabrina. I truly can't think of a better venue than this beautiful orchard for an occasion, and I know it's not only monumental for the couple uh, to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals, but even more as a perfect pair. The most remarkable moments in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete, the person who makes a world a better and magical place, the person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. I know how deeply these two care for and love one another and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness of their commitment to a lifetime of love to each other. So I have to make a confession. This is the first wedding that I have officiated <laughs> and I think it'll probably be the last <laughs> but I'm going to endeavor which is a legal term to do my best to wed these two. But I did ask Jordan, I said, Jordan, why did you pick me? And he said, well, Sabrina thinks you're good at public speaking and she also <laughs> likes your humor. I'm glad she didn't ask me to officiate at a funeral because that <laughs> could in itself present challenges. Now, my wife told me I am not allowed to tell any of my party jokes because they're not appropriate at a wedding. In fact, they're not appropriate anywhere. But, but I do want to share a story. There was a husband and wife that were on vacation and one of the local tourist traps was an alligator farm. And the husband and wife went to the alligator farm and the tour guide loaded all the guests onto a pontoon boat and they floated out into the middle of this very large pond. In the pond were lots of alligators, big alligators, medium-sized alligators, and tiny alligators. And there was one thing in common, they were all very hungry. And so they did their demonstration, which involved feeding the alligators. And then at the end, the tour guide made one final announcement. If there's anybody on this boat who is brave enough to jump in this water and swim the shore and you can make it safely without getting eaten, we will give you $250,000. Not one person budged, except all of a sudden the tour guide heard a splash. He looked, the husband is in the water and he's swimming the shore as fast as he can go. Everybody on the boat was horrified. 
This is not going to end well. The alligators are starting to circle him. They're in hot pursuit. This guy is swimming with all his might, and he's not a Michael Phelps. So the guy all of a sudden makes it to the shore. Everybody celebrates, and they're screaming and yelling. Then when the boat finally makes it to shore with the rest of the guests, they're all going up and they're congratulating him. And they're saying, you're, you're the bravest guy I know. Congratulations, you just won 250000 So when the husband and wife got back to the hotel, the husband said, honey, I got to make a, a confession. And she said, well, what is it? He said, I'm not brave. I did not jump into that water. Somebody pushed me. <laughs> now listen, the wife got a big grin on her face and she said, I know, it was me. <laughs> So uh, it, you know, behind, you know, it, you know, it reinforces the statement that behind every successful man there is a woman who pushes him. <laughs> Sabrina. Jordan can swim, but he's not that great of a swimmer. So please do not push him into an alligator farm pond or it's not going to end well. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want to collect life insurance, and that is a different story. <laughs> so anyway, back in 1990, when my wife and I, Jamie, got, got married, uh, most people got married in churches. And it was traditional back then that the pastor would make the uh, engaged couple go through premarital counseling. Jamie and I lucked out because the pastor that was serving at the church was retired, and he was just filling in. And he met with us and we told him we were dating for six years and he said, counseling's not gonna help you guys. If you haven't figured it out by, by now, you're never gonna get it. <laughs> so now that everybody has gone to these venues, they're not, I don't think a lot of married couples are getting any counseling advice. So I would like to impart one advice to the new couple or, or, or the soon to be married couple. So when a couple first meets and they fall in love. You have this physical attraction and you guys look into each other's eyes with that puppy love, you know, we're going to be in love forever and this is going to stand the test of time and this is going to get us through. And it's important, don't get me wrong, you guys hold hands, you want to be with one another all the time, you hug, you kiss, you snuggle, you cuddle, you do all that stuff. But I got some, you know, but I need to share some news. It's not going to sustain a long-term marriage. Now, don't get me wrong, it's important. You have to have that physical connection, that physical attraction. Out at the horizon, shoulder to shoulder, holding hands. And what you're looking at and what you're gazing towards are common goals. You guys need to have common goals. That's okay. But those common goals are, you know, uh, buying a house, career decisions, having children. Finances is a big one. How are you going to spend your money? And where are you going to spend your money? and then your goals will change as you get older. So when you get to my age, my wife and I are talking about retirement and that's what we're planning towards. So it's good to continue to gaze into each other's eyes with that love and affection, but don't forget to turn and look out towards the horizon and set those goals and have those common goals and gaze, and, and gaze you know, to each, uh, towards those goals. So, Jordan, with that said, do you want to get married? I do. And Sabrina, do you want to get married? I do. <laughs> and the attendants, do you want to see a marriage go on? Yes. All right. And congregation, do you want me to move forward with the men? <laughs> All right. Well, you do. All right. So let's get started. Jordan and Sabrina, you are about to make your promises to one another. You will find if you live by these vows over the years, investing time, love, and commitment to one another, the happy times of your life will be twice as joyous because you share these joys in marriage. Jordan, do you take Sabrina to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. 
wait a minute, I haven't finished yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to have and to hold in sickness and in health and in good times and woe, for rich or poor, keeping yourselves unto her for as long as you both shall live. Now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You do. Excellent. <laughs> All right, and you, Sabrina, wait till the end. <laughs> <laughs> do you take Jordan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and woe, for rich or for poor, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Excellent. So the bride and the groom have each prepared vows that they will now read to each other. And Jordan will go first. Sabrina, as we stand up here together on our wedding day in front of our loved ones, my heart is overflowing with love and admiration for you. You have brought a lot of joy and laughter into my life over the six and a half years we have known each other. You are the most caring and loving person I have ever known, and I have no doubt that you have made me a better man, sorry, than I have ever hoped to be. As we embark on this journey together into marriage, I have some promises to make to you. I promise to always be honest with you, to love you unconditionally, and to be there whenever you need me. I will strive to be the best husband that I can be for you and to be the partner that you deserve. I vow to be patient with you, to respect our differences just as much as our similarities, and to work alongside you to achieve our goals in life. I am very grateful um, and honored to uh, marry you today. I love you more than I can express in words, and our love for each other will help us overcome any challenges we may face. I can't wait to begin this next chapter of our story together and spend the rest of my life with you. From the moment I met you, I just knew we were meant to be in each other's lives. I love everything about you, your down-to-earth personality, your amusing sense of humor, and your willingness to try new things. I feel like the luckiest person in the world to be standing by your side here today. From this day forward, I promise you these things. I promise to laugh with you in the good times and comfort you through the bad. I promise to share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve them. I promise to help you when you need it and step aside when you don't. I promise to listen to you with compassion, to speak to you warmly, and to have patience. Jeez, so good. <laughs> I promise to make space for adventure and romance and to cherish the special bond we, ha we both share. Above all, I promise to always remember the gratitude I feel when I wake up next to you each morning and fall asleep with you each night. You are my best friend, and I will love and respect you always. The ring, an unbroken circle, represents unending love. As often as either you look upon these rings, you may be reminded of this moment and the love you have promised to one another. Jordan and Sabrina will now exchange rings as a symbol of their love and commitment. Jordan and Sabrina, together as you light this unity candle, you symbolize the flame of your own individual selves, joining to ignite the partnership of marriage. You also bring the warmth, strength, and wisdom of your family's fire as kindling for your own. Your flames are separate, yet they feed the same fire. From this day onward, may you bask in the beauty of the light of your love. May it uh, light shine bright and steady upon your path together, and may it Keep, keep you warm through all the days of your lives and beyond. You're going to have to cover the side. That's 
Nothing. <laughs> Here we go. Uncle just hold it with me. Jordan, Sabrina, I leave you with the following words. May all that you are always be in love. May all that is love always be in you. May your love be as beautiful on each day you share as it is on this day of celebration. And may each day you share as a, be as precious as you as the day you first fell in love. May you always see encouragement, the best in each other, May the challenge, challenges of life bring you, may make your marriage even stronger, and may you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. Jordan and Sabrina, you have pledged your faith to each other in the company of your wonderful family and circle of friends. By the power vested in me by the American Marriage Ministry, and the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Here we go now. I think so. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present for the first time Jordan and Sabrina Bateson. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs>
is bringing over a warm welcome to the wedding party. The bride's parents, Ed and Pam Comer.
So inclined, please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this union. May they find happiness in their lives together. May they always remember that together they can climb mountains. May they also remember that every bed of roses has an occasional thorn. May they use these thorns to enrich their marriage. May they always remember that it is the little things that keep the fire burning. Father, help them to find friendship and companionship in one another. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for the parents who have reared them and for whose example they will live their lives together. Thank you, Father, for the friends and family who have come to rejoice this union. Father, thank you for the meal we are about to partake and bless the hands that have prepared it. May we use it to enrich our minds and our bodies. May the time we use to break bread together also be used in your name to bring us closer to our families and to our loved ones. In the name of the Almighty, who gave his only Son, I repeat, he gave his only Son to forgive our sins. In your name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'll try to make it through this without crying or anything. I'll do my best. I make no promises. <clears throat> In this life, we measure people based off of a multitude of parameters. How much money they make, what job they have. In my case, most of the stuff that I deal with is what rank you wear. But for me, I judge people based off of respect, compassion, dependability, and trustworthiness. All qualities that I have found in you. Oh God, it's already starting. <laughs> I've known Jordan since I was about four years old. Uh, we met at Head Start. It's like before pre-K in Oakland, Maryland. He was just sitting in a, like a sly jungle gym in a tube, just hanging out. And then I walked up and just started talking to him. He was probably sitting there wondering why this loudmouth kid came up and started annoying him. But for me, as if I had known him my entire life. So talking's always been easy. From that moment, I knew that I had a special friend with Jordan, and we went on all kinds of adventures together. Baseball games, amusement parks, birthday parties, uh, even video game adventures through most of our young and adult life. <clears throat> He's always been there for me any time that I needed him. We could go months without talking or hearing from each other, and pick everything back up as if it had only been a few seconds. He's also been there for my family during some difficult times in our lives. Especially with my little brother. Anytime that I'd come home, he'd be extremely happy and excited to tell me that he just got done playing with Jordan and his friends and how much fun that they had online. So you meant a lot to him especially through times that I couldn't be there. Jordan was not only a good friend to me, but his compassion has always extended to my entire family. Jordan has always looked out for me, and he prepared me for the military early. You see, Jordan showed up one day to school without any hair, and I told my parents, I was like, I just gotta try this new thing, shave my head with him, and it looks pretty cool. 
So we had matching haircuts there for a while. Little did I know that he was preparing me for boot camp later on in life. <laughs> so he probably had a big hand to play in that. <clears throat> And remember the blue paper that your letter was written on telling me about your swim lessons and how you're able to go in the deep end and how long you could hold your breath underwater. My friendship with Jordan has been the standard that I've held all others to. Every person that I've met in my entire life has been held to his standard. Because my best friend is the most dependable, compassionate man that I have ever known. And when I look at this beautiful couple on their wedding day, I know that those qualities are something that they share. Sabrina, I can remember exactly how excited Jordan was to tell me that he had found you. I learned some other things too about your time at the movie theater from my brother. We'll keep that on the down low. <laughs> I'm also glad that you didn't let him marry you dressed up as Master Chief. <laughs> you can save that for a few anniversaries down the road. <laughs> for the both of you, I wish nothing but the happiest days and the greatest adventures moving forward. And I hope that you're able to cherish this day and always remember the love that has brought you here. And I promise the road ahead is going to be incredible. Thank you for letting me share in your special day. And thank you for being my best friend. Thank you. Well, Alexis, back then, it's your turn. Hello? All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Alexis. Uh, this is short and sweet. <laughs> Okay, so we've known each other for about 17 years. However, I wouldn't consider Sabrina my best friend. She feels more like a sister to me. Uh, we've been through so much over the years, good and bad, but she's always been my rock for it. And when Jordan and Sabrina met, I knew something was special just by the way she lit up uh, when she spoke about him. Uh, their personalities complement each other so well and I believe they're truly each other's soulmates. To Jordan and Sabrina, I love you both, and I'm so lucky to stand beside you guys during this special day. Now let's toast to the happy couple. All right. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Adriana is the next to propose a toast. Oh, hello, everyone. My name's Adriana. Um, I have a lot of titles. Uh, I'm Miss Boggs to my students. I'm mommy to my daughter. I'm cousin. Seriously though, it's, it's actually, it wasn't all just me though. Um, I had another mastermind working with me and it was Jill, Jordan's sister. And all it took was her and I sitting in our rooms one day, and we were wondering, who would be a really good match for Jordan? And at the same time, without a pause, we both yelled at the top of our lungs, Sabrina! And the rest was history. Sabrina and I became friends by working at the movie theaters together over about 10 years ago. She has seen me at so many stages of my life. She's seen me from 21-year-old odd to 25-year-old odd and now 30-year-old odd, and I'm sorry, but you've seen me at my near best, and you've certainly seen me at my worst. Um, Sabrina, I thank you for our friendship for all these years. I thank you for being there for me and for helping me and showing me what exactly a best friend should look like. Jordan and I became cousins, well, since basically our whole lives. Um, Jordan, you've always been that cousin that always puts a smile on everyone's face, certainly mine. You're that cousin that always cares and is just genuine about everything. You're just the perfect piece to our family. He's always been there as a shoulder to lean on or a person to encourage you. Jordan, your positivity radiates around you. And knowing Sabrina, that's how your sister and I knew 
that you two would be perfect for each other. You both complete each other. My prayer for you both is that you both choose the love you have for one another each and every single day. Each day, show up for each other. Communicate with each other and enjoy each other. And never, ever, ever go to bed mad. Stay up, talk it out, and make up over a bowl of ice cream. You both have a very special place in my heart, and I'm so happy to share this day with you. May your marriage be filled with joy, happiness, beauty, and love. I love you both. Congratulations. Are there any additional toasts? Are there any additional toasts? Congratulations. At this time, we need the groom and the groom's mother for the dance floor. The groom and the groom's mother. The groom like to dedicate a song to the mother. 
The song's title is A Mother's Song by T. Carter, the groom and his mother.
cake cutting was rather uneventful, just saying. That being said, we're going to open the dance floor for open dance. Anyone interested in dancing or a particular song you'd like to hear? Let us know, we'll get it in. This is Cool in the Gang Celebration. the reason 